So once you have your whole design totally inked and um, you want to get one of those big soft erasers, which I have upstairs, so do go grab it, and erase all of the extra pencil lines on your piece. You don't want to have any graphite showing through, any of the guidelines that you drew, anything that you know is popping through, any of the inked lines. You want to go over the whole thing with a nice big soft eraser and get rid of any of the extra graphite, any smudges that might have happened as well. Um, so you're going to erase extra graphite. Another thing that you can do is round some of your corners. And there might be some areas where, like in mine, I, I kind of had a little mishap here with my line. It's not quite perfect. It kind of goes on the other side. Another little mistake here and here. It's kind of rushing. So I do encourage you guys to take your time. Um, so once you've done some erasing, I want you to look really closely at your lines. I want you to ask yourself two things. Do you want to curve anything? Do you want to fix anything? And actually three things. Um, curve any corners, fix anything, any mistakes, um, or add weight to any of your lines. So do any of your elements um, do you want any of them to really stand out and have a thicker line? Okay, so um, I'm gonna quickly show you here. I'm gonna just zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so here, what can I do to fix that little mistake? One thing I can do is make my line a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna build up a little bit of weight there and I can make my whole circle thicker. Okay. And that will solve any of those types of problems. So now that guy looks a little weird, right? Because the rest of the circles are not done in the same way. So what you would wanna do is go ahead and do all of the circles like that. And then, you know, that'll give you a chance to, you know, this one needs to be fixed here as well. Okay, so I would just go here and make that line a little bit thicker. Okay, um, you guys can also switch to use your bigger Sharpie. So this is the um, Ultra Fine that we used for most of our piece. You guys can also use the Fine Point Sharpie, which is a little bit thicker. Um, so if there's an area of your composition that you want to have a thicker line, like maybe I want this outline here to be a little bit more pronounced. So I can just go over that with the thicker Sharpie and I can make my line a little bit thicker. And you may decide to do this for certain elements in your piece. Now with the curving of lines or the of corners, okay. Um, so maybe something like this, you want to have a smoother corner. So I'll just go in so you guys can see that on the video. Yes. Okay. Go in and thicken up where there is an intersection and round those curves. Okay. And this will just really help your piece look really finished and really refined. Um, so this is the time to make sure, like, here's a little, little mistake that I made here. Okay. So maybe I'm going to go ahead and make all of those a little bit thicker, the lines, you know? Just having a couple thick will look weird, 
So you want to do the same thing all the way around for consistency, okay? So think about if you want to have any thicker lines, you can use the slightly thicker Sharpie. Um, fixing any lines, smoothing them out. Let's see, this one is sort of like, do I want to do the whole thing here? Do I want to just do the side so it kind of creates almost like a shadow effect, you know? So you guys can make those executive decisions here that might look kind of cool with the varied line okay so that is the next step before you color is um, rounding any corners so again it's oops it's just taking that sharpie and going in and softening the corners kind of gives it like a lidded stained glass look and just gives your whole piece a nice finished look to it. Um, fix any parts that you might have missed and make sure that everything is really perfect, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I um, rounded off a lot of these corners. So um, again, it just kind of gives your piece a whole like little finished look to it. So I would definitely take the time and see if this will work for you and make sure your lines are nice and clean. Okay, um, fix any like little weird parts by just sort of gently going over them to kind of smooth out areas. Okay. You don't want to get too thick, obviously, but um, you know, just enough to add that little rounded corner, give it that refined look. So that's kind of just what that looks like. I just kind of take my time, go really slowly with this process so that your lines are nice and clean, okay? And then, as you can see, you know, the center, look how much more dynamic it looks now as opposed to the way it looked before I thickened up certain areas and also rounded off those corners. Okay, and same here. I did just this area around the edge. It's subtle, but it's there. And you can see how much more finished those little corners look, okay? So definitely take your time, refine your ink lines and make sure it's exactly the way you want it to look. And again, you can add variety by using the thicker Sharpie and um, rounding some lines or adding some tapered areas to some of your lines. Okay, happy inking. Thanks for watching.